Hi, I'm Matthew. Welcome to my channel. Today, it's Sunday, and it's time for a shave. Real quick, I'm going to wet my face. Got a couple days worth of growth. Uh, happy Easter to everyone. Getting another late shave in. Today's uh, shave soap is going to be Williams. And this is the mug shaving soap. Uh, you can no longer find this in the store. I think you can get it online. But prices are <clears throat> extremely outrageous. I'm going to be using the Aqua Velva Splash. And the reason I picked this uh, is because at one time this was made by Williams. And this is a classic scent. Everyone probably knows the scent on it. Uh, if you want, I'll put a little picture here of the scent profile. You can pause it and kind of go from there. Today's razor is going to be this carbon copper razor. And ooh, it just what a beauty that thing is. Um, I just recently got in the plus plus plate there's what it looks like on the bottom it's got that nice web pattern and i already have a gillette silver blue loaded into it and just to save some time on the video uh, i went ahead and pre-lathered my soap up in my captain's choice copper bowl and i have this beautiful blue trotters handcraft brush i figured that would go nicely with uh all the blue <laughs> So, this particular soap, to me, kind of has that lemony, citronella smell to it. Um, <clears throat> at least this puck here, it's uh, pretty prominent, but it doesn't stick with you very long. And I'm not really a big fan of the citronella scent, uh, to be honest. Kind of reminds me of summertime and bug spray and those candles. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get going here with pass number one with the grain. And I'm I'm excited to try this plate out because originally uh, in my past videos, I had the regular plate or the original plate. And, uh, you know, I like a little bit more of an aggressive razor. And this is going to do it. This is going to make me much happier compared to the other plate. You can hear that it has a little bit more audio feedback compared to the original plate. At least I can remember that. Even though this has a larger blade gap, I still feel like it's not overly aggressive. Uh, I think most people could get away with this. At least I could as a daily shaver. And it just may depend on your beard and skin type as well. Yep. You can tell it has a little bit more bite, but it's still very smooth. What I like about it is it's a little bit closer of a shave than the previous plate. Let's go ahead and get lathered up for pass number two across the grain. If you're new here, you'll know that or you won't know. <laughs> I'm a two-pass shaver. I don't go against the grain and all that stuff because I feel like it just creates more irritation. And this will not completely eliminate all of your stubble. Um, <clears throat> and even though a lot of people chase that baby butt smooth, for me in about 45 minutes, you can't tell the baby butt smooth, so it's not worth the gamble of... Uh, 
irritation. So I don't do it. I can't remember. It seemed like I picked up this. Um, I probably picked up four or five of them at one time. Uh, the Williams soap. I think I got it at Schnucks. And it was like a dollar ninety nine, if I remember right. And then about a month or two later, that's whenever uh, everyone found out they were start they were discontinuing it. And for what it is, it's a decent little soap. It will definitely get the job done. It's got a little bit more residual slickness to it than say a bar of ivory soap or dove soap. In the lather, it's a little bit thinner, uh, I would say to where it doesn't hold up as long as some of the artisan soaps. But now we're just kind of splitting hairs. All right, I'm gonna get cleaned up with some cold water and I'll be right back. I'm back. With a snap of the fingers, using my Lancaster Black Sheep towel and the star of the show, the old Aqua Delta. This is a very classic scent to me. Uh, Many people probably uh, had their dads or grandpas had used this, and it does kind of have a big uh, restrictor in it, so I'm just going to get that much. And that blue <laughs> is uh, very blue. The scent for me on this uh, kind of has a minty, lemony smell, and maybe just... Just a touch of musk. But it's not going to last for very long. There's no real sting. There's real no, you know, heavy menthol. Maybe just a tiny bit, but not a whole lot. I'm going to follow that up with some star jelly. Getting pretty low. If, it's, if you can see it here, the line is here, but it's acting like it's empty. I may have another one of those with the uh, pickup tube cracked. Or it just could be some residual stuff on the on the walls. Alright, well, I'll put a little picture here of everything I used and comment below and let me know do you like aqua velva or does it remind you of your dad or grandpa or someone else that you know? If so, let me know. Anyways, I will see you guys on the next shave video. You have a great rest of your weekend.